Hello everyone, myself Antari from Zorat Medical Class. Today we are going to start with Meiosis 1 from page number 126, NCRT Biology Class 11, Chapter Cell Cycle and Cell Division. Meiosis 1 is very very important for MCQ point of view as many many MCQ questions can be asked from this uh, portion. So Meiosis 1, as uh, we already know it is uh, divided in Prophase 1, Metaphase 1, Anaphase 1 and Telephase 1. Again, the prophase one is divided now. Let's see the MCQs which have been previously asked and which are potential MCQs. Now, uh, starting with the very first MCQ, uh, prophase one is divided into five phases for study purpose, and these are these five phases are divided based on the chromosome behavior. You have to remember this term. It is based on chromosome behavior, and these stages in sequential order. You have to remember leptotin, zygotin, pectin, diplotin, and diakinesis. In my subsequent videos, I will provide various mnemonics and as, as well as I will. Uh, uh, go through this uh, portion very uh, very uh, precisely but for the time being uh, the mcqs you should uh, for mcq purpose you should remember these uh, portions uh, very important question from the leptotin uh, the chromosomes becomes gradually visible under light microscope is seen in the leptotin stage and the compaction of the chromosome continues throughout the leptotin so you have to remember the phase in leptotin and what what are the events happening and uh, happening in leptotin stage now coming to the zygotin as you know zygo means two so uh, in this stage they start pairing so you have to remember in zygotin they start pairing together and the process of association is called synapsis so you have to remember these terms and such paired chromosomes are called homologous chromosome this uh, the chromosome which paired they are called as homologous chromosomes. Now, uh, these homologous chromosomes, electron micrograph study shows a complex structure formation which is synoptenimal complex. You have to remember this that synoptenimal complex is seen in the zygotin phase, and in zygotin phase, synapsis is there, and pairing of the homologous chromosomes take place. Again, bivalent or the threat formation is also seen in zygotin phase you have to remember these terms now coming to the uh, pectin stage and the characteristics of pectin stage is the clear clearance of the tetras formation starts in that called is bivalent or tetrad but distinct and clearly appeared as tetrad in pectin stage so you should not get confused between this Question This stages is characterized by appearance of recombination nodule. So recombination nodule is seen in pectin phase at which crossing over occurs between non-sister chromatids. So you have to remember crossing over crossing over that means the recombination of genetic material occurs in between non-sister chromatids always and non-sister chromatids and but homologous chromosomes. You have to remember these terms as they might confuse you with options various options so you have to remember this now coming to the size where crossing over occurs between the non-sister chromatids is of homologous chromosomes now crossing over is the exchange of genetic material between two homologous chromosomes and crossing over is also an enzyme mediated process they might ask you in mcq crossing over is an enzyme is an enzyme mediated process is an uh, uh, catalytic process is an um, uh, etc question mcqs so you have to choose always enzyme mediated process and the and name of the enzyme is very very important which is recombination you have to remember these terms now recombination between the homologous chromosome is completed at the end of pectin and leaving the chromosomes link at the site of crossing over only now coming to the diplotin space which is recognition diplotin dissolution of the synaptonymal complex the synaptonymal complex which has formed in the zygotin phase so you should remember this term zygotin synaptonymal complex which is dissolved in diplotin stage and tendency of recombination of homologous chromosomes of the bivalence to separate from each other except at the sites of crossovers this xf structure is called chiasmata chiasmata is seen in diplotin this is very very important for mcq point of view the final stage is the diakinesis which is marked by termination of the chiasmata so you have to remember in diakinesis space termination of the chiasmata takes place and during this space chromosomes finally condense and meiotic spindle assemble to prepare the homologous chromosomes for separation 
by the end of diagenesis the nucleolus disappears so you have to remember nucleolus here disappears at the end of diagenesis uh, earlier in mitosis we have uh, we have seen that uh, nucleolus disappears at the end of prophase and at the end of prophase 1 nucleolus disappears nuclear envelope also breaks down and diagenesis represents transition to metaphase that is metaphase 1 in metaphase 1 the spindle attached to the kinetic core of the homologous chromosomes earlier we seen only one chromatin but uh, in mitosis but here the kinetic core of the homologous chromosomes you will have to mark in mcq now coming to the nfs1 the homologous chromosomes separate and while the sister chromatids remain associated at the centromere telophase 1 in the nuclear membrane and nucleolus reappear so in telophase 1 nuclear membrane and nucleolus reappear in options they might ask you that nuclear membrane and nuclear nucleolus reappears in telophase 1 telophase 2 and mitosis telophase so all of the three uh, in all of the uh, options nuclear membrane and nucleolus reappear and cytokinesis involves and this is called dyad of cells telophase one is known as dyad of cells because two cells clusters are formed in telophase one as you can see in this structures uh, picture now the stage between the meiotic division is called interkinesis you have to remember this term interkinesis and it has been asked previously also is generally short lived and there is no replication of DNA during interkinesis. As I have already told you, only one cycle of DNA replication, but during interkinesis, there is no replication of DNA. Interkinesis followed by prophase 2, and it is much simpler than prophase 1. Thank you.